Hey everybody, it is the Royal Queen here, and today I'm going to show you how to use pre-keyed footage using iMovie 11. And the place that I get my pre-keyed footage from is Detonation Films, and the one I'm using today is right here. It is um, for free, and you can just download the zip file right onto your computer. So once you have all your footage that you've shot and you have your explosion, you're going to need everything or whatever pre-key footage you're using, you're going to need it imported into iMovie, which you just hit um, File, Import, Movies, and grab all the footage that you need. And when you're importing it, make sure that this optimized video does not have a check mark right beside it. And then you're going to need to do one more thing before you can get into editing. You need to click on iMovie and go to Preferences. And make sure that the Show Advanced Tools does have a check mark right beside it because you're going to be using Picture in Picture. So once you have everything into your iMovie, you're going to need to put some footage into your timeline. The footage I'm using, I built a dolly system called a Rachnid, and so I'm just using some footage from that. So uh, when you're done with this video, go ahead and check out the dolly system that I built. Okay, so at the beginning of the Detonation Films footage, they have an explosion with a title or whatever your pre key footage is with a transparent background. So we just want to scrub through till we find the first mark where there's just a black background and scrub through and grab as much as you need and bring it up into the timeline and drop it onto your image and you'll know you'll have a plus sign and then box will pop up and you want to select picture in picture okay so you can see that we don't have anything we just have the four white corners but as I drag it you can see the start right here this is where explosion is going to be and you can crop this and do everything that you need to it but um, for this one I'm just keeping it simple and just dragging the corners and there again you can see our explosion is bigger so to export it we're just going to hit share export movie and you can select how big you want the file if you want a HD 1080p or you just want medium and medium is going to go a lot quicker than the 1080p so we have the footage here this is the footage that I just edited in iMovie and there is our explosion 